Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video I hope you're all doing well and with iOS 18 around the corner I figured I would go ahead and download the public beta now in the last couple days the public beta has went live so now pretty much anyone can test out the latest beta of iOS 18 so let's go ahead and go into our settings here scroll down to general software update now if you are interested in doing this when you get to this screen, most people will have beta updates turned off. So if we click on that, as you can see here, iOS 18 public beta. So if we tap on that and we tap back, there we go, the iOS 18 public beta. Now here on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, this is nearly 7 gigabytes, so it could take a while to download. Let's go ahead and hit update. The update has finished, so let's take a look at it right off here on... The, uh, the lock screen, I don't notice anything too different, but, um, you know, other than it says my iPhone has been updated. And when we swap up to unlock, you immediately notice that all of my icons are now in dark mode. And it definitely looks different. I mean, I'm not sure I like it. I do like dark mode, but I'm not sure that I want all of my icons to be in this dark mode. And as you can see, I have a Wi-Fi off shortcut right there. And the theming of the icons does not work very well with that. Doesn't look like it works at all. And with the wallet app, that looks the same to me also. The health app looks kind of strange. The settings app definitely looks strange also. So I'm not sure I like these dark mode icons. So how to change this is we touch and hold in a blank area on the home screen and at the top left, we're gonna click on edit. We're gonna click on customize. And here at the bottom now, we can change between small and large icons. Those are definitely large icons. And I want to change back to the light icons. So I'm going to do that. There we go. Looks much better. Again, let's take a look at those large icons. Man, that looks kind of cool, you know. I guess this would be good for those who also have trouble seeing like me. Or maybe the, the older people. But for now, the small ones are large enough for me. And also if you do the large icons, it does away with the actual app names. So let's go back in here, edit top left, customize, and go back to the small icons. So there we go, I like that. Also you can tint them. So if we tap on that, you can kind of go through here and choose a color and it will give all of your icons the color you choose. So let's say, you know, we slide along here do like a blue, maybe right there. So it tints all of the icons that color. But, you know, for example, look at the notes icon. That looks pretty weird. And the photos app. So I'm not sure I, I really like that. Also, now if we go into settings, if we scroll all the way down, instead of having a long list of all of your apps that you have to continuously scroll through, now it's in one folder labeled apps. It's nice that it's all in alphabetical order but there is a glitch going on here. So for example, if you look at the American Express app, the Bitwarden app and the Books app, a lot of these apps are stuck in like the dark theme, even though my icons are in the light theme. So that's definitely a bug. So if we scroll down and go to messages, scroll down a little bit more, we finally have RCS messaging. This is a big deal because now you have red receipts, you have typing indicators, and when you send photos and videos back and forth to an Android, they will get the full quality. So this is a big step forward. But do keep in mind, RCS messaging at this time only works with certain carriers, so it may not work for you. Also here in the settings, if you look out from Wi-Fi, it actually tells you the Wi-Fi network you're connected to. I'm not sure if it did that before. I'd have to look back at my footage. I don't believe on iOS 17, it actually tells you the Wi-Fi network you're connected to. So it's nice that you can quickly look and know what Wi-Fi network you're on. And also, if we jump into something like Bluetooth, now at the top, you kind of get this tile and a little explanation of what Bluetooth is. That's nice to see. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. I'm not using Bluetooth right now. Also, if we jump into Wi-Fi, it has the same thing. It has a tile letting us know kind of what Wi-Fi is, and we can select another Wi-Fi network if we want to. And now battery settings has been relocated higher up the list. 
This is something I check pretty frequently and I'm sure that others do as well. So that's why Apple moved this towards the top of the settings list. So now here under the battery settings, if you tap on charging, you can set your own limit for charging. Whereas before it was just an 80% limit. So now you can actually select what type of charging limit you want. I'll keep that on 80% for when I use that setting, but that's nice to see. Also, when we're in the home screen editing mode, now you can put your icons anywhere you want. Now, if you have icons close together like these here, say for example, I try to move the app store, you notice those apps up there will, will still snap together and reorganize themselves. It would be nice to where even if I were to move an icon that's close to others, that the rest of the icons would not auto organize. For example, if I were to try to move the app store down here, it would be nice if all the other apps were to stay in place. So you can technically move your icons anywhere you want, but it's not as freely as you can on Android because there is still this grid that the icons try to snap to and reorganize themselves. I'm not sure if this is a bug, but even though my phone is set to dark mode here, and we look at the app store, it's in dark mode. Some of the context menus are still in light mode. I'm sure that's probably a bug. Also with iOS 18, Apple is adding the Passwords app to better manage your passwords, similar to like iCloud Keychain. Now I won't be using this. I prefer a third party solution because in my opinion, this is just another way for Apple to keep people in the ecosystem. But if you really love Apple and you don't mind being in the ecosystem, it is nice to see that now baked into the software, there's a password managing app. And one of the biggest changes is Control Center, so let's take a look at that. As you can see, everything in here is more round. Definitely a different look. On the brightness slider now, the actual brightness icon is yellow, and the volume icon on the volume slider is blue. Also, there's multiple pages. So you can swap up. Here is like media controls. And on the third page here is a little bit more in-depth controls. So if we tap on Wi-Fi, we can switch Wi-Fi networks, airplane mode. If you just tap that, it turns it on and off. So now in control center, if we tap and hold in a blank area, you can get rid of tiles. You can resize them. You can reorganize your tiles and also make them larger. But there are limitations. For example, if we try to pull here on the media player, it lets us do like two squares wide. But here on the actual controls, we're not able to do that. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm missing something there. And you can get rid of things if you want to, like the brightness slider, the volume slider. So it's nice to see this kind of customization. And so, yeah, I'm excited to try this out over the next few weeks. There are still some minor bugs that Apple will iron out before the official launch. Let me know how iOS 18 has been treating you guys on your devices and what your favorite features are. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video.